Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss what is a dictionary, how can we create a dictionary and what are the various methods are available with the dictionary. All these concepts I will discuss in detail for you. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me define what is a dictionary. It is an unordered collection of data and keys. I can say that dictionary is a collection of key and value pairs. If you talk about the list and tuple, we can access an element with the help of the index. And always the index values will be in integers. And always the index value will start from 0 and it will go up to n minus 1 where n is the number of elements are there in the list or tuple. But here I don't want to access them with the help of the index. I want to access them with the help of keys. Then I can use the dictionary. Here the keys can be any data type. It can be an integer or it can be a character. Okay. So now first let me discuss how can I create a dictionary. Let me take A is a dictionary variable and I need to write the curly braces and I need to give the key okay just let me write the generalized one a key if it is an integer you can write the integer value if it is a string you can write within the quotation okay so you will have a key and you will have the value suppose let me keep it as key one value one okay here the value can be of any data type similarly you will have key two it can be any data type okay then you will have a value 2. Here also it can be any data type, comma, key 3, column, value 3, closed with the curly braces. So this is the generalized syntax for creating a dictionary. Now let me write it with an example for better understanding. Let's take that I am creating a dictionary called A. I am creating 1 with Parnika, let's take that a value I am giving it as Parnika, comma, 2, column, tutorials, okay, 3, column, like, okay, 4, share, is it clear? So this is one dictionary I have created. And remember one thing, no duplicate members are allowed. What is the meaning is that, suppose let's take that, you have created a dictionary called A, okay. Let's take that, you are creating one column two. Yeah, no problem, this is the key and this is the value. And let's take that, you are creating one column two, okay. And you are closing the curly braces. Now it is a duplicate because the key and value, key and value are same. So if you press the enter and if you press the if you give the a or if you are trying to print all the key and value pairs in the dictionary you will get the output as 1 and 2 only are you able to understand so it does not allow the duplicate values suppose let's take that i have modified little bit here instead of 3 i have written like this now for the key i am giving the value 2 for the same key 1, I am giving the value 3. Now, what value will come when I am printing? You will get the key and value pair as 1, 3 only. It will be updated. Are you able to understand? So, this is the way you can create the dictionary. Now, let me access the value with the help of the key. How can I print it? Okay. We can simply do like this. Print. Okay the dictionary name of the dictionary and uh, within the braces what is the corresponding key value suppose let's take that i have written one so in the dictionary a at the key what value is there that will be displayed as an output so you will get an output as pernika suppose let's take that i have given print a of five now look at here in the dictionary A, is there any key called 5? No. If there is no key called 5, how the corresponding value will come? So, it will give an error for you. I hope you have understood. So, 
if you want to access a particular item you can give the key and you can print if the key is not available in the given dictionary then it will give an error for you you can do the same one with the help of the get method also let me discuss that one also print a dot get and give the key value what is the key value suppose let's take that i'm giving the key value as 2 okay then in the dictionary a at the key value 2 what value use there there is tutorials now let me discuss a key which is not there in the dictionary okay print a dot get value 5 okay means here i am giving the key value as 5 does the key value 5 is there in the dictionary a it is not there then it will not give an error for you it will give the value as none the meaning is that for the index 5 means for the key value 5 there is no value so it will give the output as none now instead of none you want to give your customized output let me discuss that one. Suppose let's take that print a dot get. Okay. The key, suppose let's take that you are giving 6 and you are giving the comma no element or no value. Something, the customized output you want to give instead of none. Then it will look whether the key 6 is there or not. Key 6 is not there in the dictionary A. So then it will display the output as no element. Now let me take that. Instead of 6 here, I am giving the 1. Now you will have a confusion that key 1 is there. Now Parnika will print or no element will print. Which one will print? As the key 1 is there in the dictionary A, now Parnika will be printed. Whenever that key is there in the dictionary, whatever the corresponding value is there, that will be displayed. If the key is not there in the dictionary, then this customized output will be displayed. If you does not write this one, none will be printed. I hope you have understood how can you access the an element using the key like this and using the get method. Now let me discuss how can you add a new key value pair in the dictionary. Now look at here. In the dictionary A, key 5, whether key 5 is there or not, not there, okay. So, if key pair is not there, I want to add it. So, I want to write subscribe because whenever students are watching Parnika Tutorials YouTube channel, they need to press the like, they need to share their videos with their friends and even if they have not subscribed, to get the more videos, they have to subscribe. So, I am adding a one key value pair inside the dictionary a so this is the way you can write it if you print the dictionary a then 5 subscribe also will be come as an output now let's take that you want to update the like to what youtube something okay is it clear meaning is that for the corresponding key the value you want to update you can write like this instead of like you want to go for the YouTube then in place of like here YouTube will come so this is the adding how can you add a key and the corresponding this one is it clear corresponding value if you want to update it you can do it is it clear now let me discuss I want to clear all the key value pairs from the dictionary how can i do it i have a method in the dictionary called clear okay if i write a dot clear then all the key and value pairs will be removed in the dictionary you will get an empty dictionary if you try to print you will get an empty dictionary as an output so this is the use of the clear method in the dictionary okay now let me erase it now i want to copy all these key value pairs inside another dictionary how i can do with the help of copy method i can write it as b is equal to a dot copy so whatever the key value pairs are there in the dictionary a will be copied in the b 
Is it clear? So this is the way you can use the copy method. Now I want to find only values. I don't want the key and the value, key and value. I just want to display to the users what are the values are there. Then I can write like this print a dot values method. Then values are there such as Parnika. Okay. Tutorials like that output will be displayed. Is it clear for you? So this is the use of values method in a dictionary. If you want only to display the keys, that also you can do. You can write print a dot keys. Then it will give all the keys which are there in the dictionary A. So this is the use of the keys method. Now you want to pop a particular key and the value pair from the dictionary then you can use the pop method. How you want to do? Suppose let's take that. I am writing a dot pop. I want to remove this key and value pair. The key is 3 and the corresponding value. Then I can give a dot pop 3. Then the key value 3 and the corresponding value will be popped out from the dictionary A. Now you don't want to specify the index. Here when I am specifying the index, index is nothing but the key. If I does not want to specify and I want to delete the lost key value pair, then I can use the pop item. Let me discuss it for you. If I write a dot pop item and I does not give any parameter, then what will happen is that the lost key value pair will be removed from the dictionary. If you specify the key, then the corresponding key and the value pair will be removed with the help of pop method. You don't want to give a corresponding key. You want to delete the lost one, then you can write pop item. So I hope it is clear for you. So we have discussed about the clear method, copy method, values, keys, pop, pop item and get. I hope it is clear for you. If you still have any doubts, don't worry. I will discuss all these concepts in the Jupyter notebook for better understanding. Now let me create a dictionary called A having the key value pairs. Key is 1 and value is Parnika. Similarly, I have another key value pair is 2 and tutorials. Okay. Another key value pair is 3 and value is like. Okay. So, with these key value pairs, I have created a dictionary. I want to verify whether it has been successfully created or not. Now, let me write print dictionary A. Now I will get the output. Now we can verify other things like I am creating one more dictionary called B having the key value pair is 1, 2. Another key value pair is 1, 2. Now if I write print B, you can look at the output. You will have only one key value pair because this is duplicate. Key and value both are same 1 and 2. So you will get only one key value pair which is 1, 2. Similarly, if I write key value pair is 1, 2 and then 1, 3. Meaning is that for the key 1, I am giving the value 2. Then again, for the key 1, I am giving the value 3. If I run the program, I will get the output as key value pair as 1, 3. You look at it because you are updating the value for the corresponding key. Then you will get the output as 3 for you. Similarly, if you want to display, you want to display a particular value using the key, that also you can do it. I have given the dictionary as A and the key as 1, then I will get the value as Parnika. So this is about creating the dictionary and accessing the values using the key. Now we will discuss few more things. How can you add one more key value pair? Okay. To do that one, what you have to do? You have to write the dictionary and the key value pair is 4 and then share the video. So I will write share. Now look at here. So what is happening? Previously, there is no key called 4. 
and the value will be share will be added if you want to verify you can verify it print a then you will have four key value pairs such as one per nika two tutorial three like four share is it clear now this one you got now i want to modify the key value pair from four share to four subscribe is it clear now let me run the code okay here i want to write the print a then you can look at here you will get the output as one per nika two tutorials three like four subscribe see this is the way you are adding and also you are updating the key value pairs okay now let me discuss how can you access an element which the key is not there suppose let me write here print a 5 then what will happen look at here if 1 means what is happening 1 is meaning is that you are providing the key then corresponding value will be displayed if you write 1 pernika will be displayed already i have discussed this point suppose let's take that i have given a key which is not there because here the keys are 1 2 3 but i am giving a key 5 and i want to print the corresponding value then in this case you will get an error okay you can look at here you are getting an error saying that key error because the key 5 is not there okay suppose you can use the same thing with the help of get i am writing the dictionary a and get i am writing 2 now look at here the 2 is the key now what is the corresponding value tutorials because key 2 is there and then the corresponding value you are displaying so you will get the output as tutorials suppose let's take that i am writing dictionary a dot get and i am giving the key value as 5 previously when i have written a of 5 then i got the error because key 5 is not there here what will happen is that you will get the output as none because there is no key 5 so corresponding value is not there so you will get the output as none you can look at you got the output as none suppose let's take that when corresponding key is not there automatically you are getting the output as none but i want to give some customized output that also you can do 5 comma suppose i am writing no element instead of write, giving the output as none I want to give the customized output as no element. Look at here. Then the output you will get it as no element. Not only for 5. If I give the key 4. Even key 4 is not there. Then also you will get an output as no element. Now let me verify it. I have given a key called 1. Then will the output will be given as Pernika or no element. As the key is there and the corresponding value is there. Then Pernika will be displayed as an output. So what is the point here is that if the corresponding key value pair is not there, then whatever the output you are giving, no element will be given as an output. If the corresponding key is there and then value will be given as an output. So I hope you have understood about the get. Now let me discuss how can you clear a dictionary. Okay. Suppose let me create one more dictionary called 1, 2, then 2, 3. I want to verify whether my dictionary has been successfully created or not. I can write it print D. So my dictionary is created which having the two key value pairs. Now I want to clear it. Okay. Then what I am doing? B dot clear. Okay. So B is the dictionary dot clear. Then dictionary will be created. Oh, sorry. It will be clear. Okay. Now I want to print the dictionary. Print D. Because there is no dictionary, you can look at, you are getting an empty dictionary because all the key value pairs have been removed successfully. So clear will be useful for you to clear all the key value pairs. So it will make it as an empty dictionary. Okay. So now you want to copy the, okay, let me write here. I want to copy all the key value pairs from the A to the B. Then I can write here as B is equal to A dot copy. Because what what is happened once I made it B dot clear, all the key value pairs have been empty. So B is having the empty dictionary because it does not have the key value pairs. Now what I am doing, 
I want to copy all the key value pairs from the dictionary A to dictionary B. Then I want to print the B. Now look at here what will happen. What are the key value pairs which is there in the A will be copied to the B and you are displaying it as an output. Okay. Similarly, you want to get only values. You don't want to print the key value pairs from a dictionary. Then you can use the values. Okay, so what are the values are there which is Pernika tutorials like will be given as an output. So dictionary values are Pernika tutorials likes. Similarly, let's take that you want to print only keys. You don't want to display the key value pairs. Only keys you want to display. So in this case, it will give you only keys. The keys are 1, 2, 3. So if you write a dictionary inside the print, then it will give you the key value pairs. If you want to verify, let me write it here. Print A. Then it is giving the key value pairs. If you are writing A dot values, you are giving a method. Then it will give you only the values in the dictionary. If you are writing keys, then only keys will be displayed. Now I want to pop the particular key value pair. So what I will do is that a dot pop then i am removing the key so key 3 i am removing then corresponding value also will be popped out now if i write print a then look at here the key and the value like will be removed from the dictionary and the new dictionary is having only two key value pairs suppose instead of using pop I want to use the pop item then what will happen is that if it does not give means obviously it will not take any argument then last one will be removed what is the last key to so corresponding key value pair will be removed if you want to display the output you can look at here only one pernica will be there so pop you need to provide one index which is the key value pop item you no need to provide then the last one will be removed. I hope it is clear for you about the dictionary. If you still have any doubts with the dictionary, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.